Hello. Hi, everybody. Today's topic is selling HUD homes. The first thing I want to do is show you where you need to go to get your login information and be prepared to know all of the documents that you need to log into in order to um, sell a HUD home. The first thing you need to know is that BLB Resources is the website you need to become very familiar with, where you will find all of the different resources, videos, photo brochures, training documentation, as well as all the forms you need in order to sell a HUD home. As you can see on the screen, the entire package for all of the different types of properties that are for sale, sample contract packages, repair contract packages, cash sales, conventional contract packages, um, and as well as investor packages are all in the BLB Resources website. Another thing you want to do is download the different instructor packages. This is one of the quick ones where it take, tells you about how to get your NAID application page, your uh, register for bidder, and um, all of the financing types that are available for HUD homes. This is the Selling Broker Handbook, which applies to all of the states, and it has been revised in July of 2019. Another website you need to be familiar with is this one right here, HUDHomestore.com. If you have never registered, the first thing you need to do is register right here you can, the public can register and view properties, but they cannot make any offers. Only a licensed, registered real estate agent can sign up as a bidder, as you can see here. So if you have never registered, you need to register first right here. You will need information from your broker, you will need to create a login information. You need your NAID status and your principal broker registration information. You need to accept the terms and show that you're not a robot. And once you have registered, you will see that you are able to go to the um, login information like this. So you create your password, um, your login information, and once you create that, you will be uh, taken to this uh, area. Notice all of the states where um, properties of, from HUD are managed by BLB. If you are not licensed in those states, you cannot submit an offer. However, if you are in New Jersey, you will be able to submit offers for New Jersey. You can see the state, so I'm gonna do a search for New Jersey. And if you just put the state and you do a search, it will give you all of the properties that are available in New Jersey right now. If it has a new red seal, it's obviously new. If you see this, that means the price has been reduced on the property. When you see extended, that means that the property opening bids have been extended, the dates have been extended. So you have the property picture 
You have the property case number, which is very important. You have the property address, the price, and the status, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and what is the type of listing period. So exclusive um, shows you here that it's only for owner occupants, nonprofit organizations, and government agencies are the only ones who can make offers on these properties at this time. If it the listing has been extended, all bidders, that means any of the um, other classifications, owner occupants, nonprofits, government agencies, but also investors are able to make offers on those properties. You can see the um, bid open date. That is when the bids will be opened. One of the good things about HUD is that all offers can be submitted, but once they open the bids, everybody who had the highest and best offer, will. everybody has the same chance. If you need to see the property on a map, you can click on here, and if you want to email for information, you, uh, you can click on here, and then you can save. So I'm gonna go and click on one of these properties. Let's see. Um, Atlantic County, Egg Harbor. So when you click on here, that opens up the information for the property. You can see all of the pictures that have been provided for the property. You can see all of the property information, the listing information, amenities of the property, addendums that are required or you should be aware of when you are submitting an offer. It shows you the map of where the property is located, and you can see, open up the map, or go closer on the map. You can also see the satellite image, and then the agent information. This will be the, the listing agent information for any questions or um, any information you need in addition to what is provided already, this would be the listing company. VLV Resources is the asset manager. The field service manager, if you go to the property and you find that it has been vandalized, that the, the door was left open or it was broken, or there are any concerns on that property, you need to contact the field service, man, for service manager. But to submit an offer, you will have to go to the property information and notice here, um, if you are a real estate agent, you can submit an offer by clicking here. Okay, when you do that, there, uh, is, there are security measures that are taken to make sure that people are not taking advantage and the right people are actually making the bids. As you can see here, Eligible bidders is all bidders, so anybody can make an offer on this. The deadline is midnight central time on September 15th at submission time. So this tells you how much time you have. You have up until probably a half an hour before that date to submit your offer. But don't do it too quick because if the deadline, 12.59.59 p.m. happens, you will be shut out, okay? So you're gonna need your NAID number and what type of uh, selling agent you are, okay? And then you have to click not a robot. I can't go there because I'm not submitting an offer for this particular property. So when you go home, um, this is where you can find the properties. Again, if you need to create an application for getting your NAID number, this is where you need to go. If you need to, um, consumers will have to do a broker search in order to find if they if they have signed up as a consumer and they are have been accessing properties, uh, but they want to submit an offer, only a licensed registered HUD broker would be able to do that. So they would be able to look in the state where they're located or the property is located in order to be able to find 
all of the nay uh, the number the approved brokers that are there so here I put in um, realty executives exceptional Let me clear this and this would give the consumer the list of all of the um, the brokers that are approved for that particular area I want to play a video um, BLB resources also has a lot of agent resources here when you go to BLB resources you can open this page I open the page specifically for New Jersey and you can see that there are events for the particular area buyer resources and uh, frequently asked questions but when you go to the agent resources specifically for New Jersey you can see that they have phone numbers to help with any questions you may have um, and the hours of operation they also um, have a way that you can create um, photo brochures and um, flyers for promoting HUD homes notice here that on the uh, website they also have different um, instruction uh, videos or that you can take advantage of
As you can see, there's a lot of information on this website that you should be able to take advantage of. Finding um, the cancellation request, owner occupant package, e signature, instructions, um, any broker authorization letters, everything that you need is in here. The most common type of um, sale is a contract package with the 203B, but if the property needs work, you need the 203K contract package, especially for first time home buyers or owner occupants. Um, notice that in this package, it very specifically talks about owner occupant sales package. They have to sign a certification showing that they intent to occupy the property. The HUD sales contract always has a list, a checklist that shows everything, um, all of the documents that are required that need to be signed by all of the, uh, all of the people involved and where the package has to be sent overnight because they need to receive the package within two days of the offer being accepted in notification from BLB that your offer has been accepted. Um, all of this um, information is right here and available in the uh, BLB resources website. If you have any questions, if you have any questions about um, this presentation, you can send it to, you can send me all of your questions to my website, my email address, so that um, I can answer any of your questions. This concludes the seminar. If you have any questions, please feel free to, um, to reach out to me by email. Thank you and have a great day.